may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready! Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, share, subscribe, like this video, make sure you put your prayer request in the bottom. There's been a lot going on, there's a lot going on in Israel, they are bombing Hezbollah targets in Lebanon as we speak. You emergency exit messages have not shut up all day, and we've been searching for subs, enemy subs off the west coast, east coast, and in the Gulf. It's been going on all day, a lot of activity, it's off the charts. Now remember, we've been talking about this loud event for a while. We've had it for now, maybe four weeks, maybe the whole family has. We've discussed it. Well, God was piecing it together for me. I'd been going to prayer and asking God to show me. Now, the way I see things is through dreams. That's been always my gift. It just always has. And I knew God, I asked God to, you know, convey to me what the loud event was. I've been asking, but they've been coming in pieces until the last couple of days he started showing me things in my dreams that stood out. Number one, I saw a group of ants. Now, I dreamed about these ants before, about two weeks ago. been seeing them. I'm like, okay, I don't ever dream about ants. That's how you know God is talking to you through your dreams. It's stuff that does not need to be there, stuff that's not on your mind. And plus, the Holy Spirit's always there when you wake up to tell you to write it down. That's how I, me and the Lord work with this. So, little did I know that Shelly had a piece of the puzzle that I didn't know. Now, I would brought the ants up to her before, but she didn't really put it together. But this time, once again, I have them again, except this time they're going in a circle. And I'm like, okay, that means something. That's just twice I've seen them. And lo and behold, it reminded her of a song that she heard when she was two years old. This is what God was pointing us to, was a song. Now, when she remembered this song, she remembered she had, the Holy Spirit reminded her of this last summer, not this summer, summer before last, to find that song, and she didn't do it. She just kind of, you know, just like we all do, we get busy. And she was trying to remember the song when I brought her this, this dream. In the dream, it was... A lot of stuff that uh, God was putting out to me. Once again, I saw my blue truck. This blue truck has been centered in my dreams for a while. This is an old truck that I used to have. But once again, it was centered in this dream. And in the dream, once again, just like the other day when I talked about a balloon, the balloon and everything is in the song. Believe it or not, you can't make this stuff up. So he was referring us to this song. So she had to look it up. When she looked up the song, she realized it about blew her up, blew her right out of her chair, to be honest with you, because the song is de definitely talking to all of us what this loud event is. This is what we wanted to know. I wanted to know because I told the Lord, I said, listen, the family needs to know what this loud event is, so I know what we're looking at. Is it a nuclear, is it this or that? We was very surprised to find out the answer of what the loud event is that's on its way. We all know it. We've all been talking about it. But now the Lord has shown us what the loud event is. So we're going to get into it. All right. So this is very important. This is for the family. Now, a lot of, them's going to, a lot of people are going to attack this, like I said. But don't go to me. Go to Jesus about this. This is who led us to this. Without a doubt. It's been confirmed. So this is where we're going. Okay. I saw ant circling. You got the doormat. See, I saw a doormat that had five churches on it. 
And the guy who was making the mat for me was Mark. The churches was completely wiped off this mat. They was gone. So there's five churches on it. They weren't there. They're gone. Then I told Shelly, she remembered last summer she was out watering and started singing the childhood song, but never looked up the lyrics until today. And this is what blew us out of the water. And that led us directly to what the Holy Spirit was really trying to show us. And the Holy Spirit was behind every bit of this. It was all the Holy Spirit. So hold on to your knickers, people. Now you're going to know what the loud event is that's coming. And a lot of you are going to get excited. Next time you found that uh, your chin on the ground, there was a lot to be learned. So look around. So this is the song. So let's go over the song that he led us to. Next time you found... With your chin on the ground, there's a lot to be learned, so look around. Just what makes a little old ant think he'll move that rubber tree, rubber tree plant anywhere, knows an ant can't move a rubber tree plant. But he's got high hopes. He's got high hopes. Now, the ants is us. That's what he was trying to show us. He's got high hopes. He's got high hopes. He's, he's got high apple pie. So anytime you're getting low, <clears throat> a shed of letting go, just remember that, oops, there goes another rubber tree plant. Oops, there goes another rubber tree plant. Oops, there goes another rubber tree plant. <clears throat> when troubles call and your back's on the wall, which is where we're at now, there's a lot to be learned. The wall could fall once. There was a silly old ram. Now remember, we got to hear this, the sheep and goats too. That wall could fall once uh, there was a silly old ram thought he'd punch a hole in a dam. Now, this dam is important. I have already saw a dam bust, so this is confirming the stuff I've been seeing because I've been seeing a dam burst for months now. So this is another part that I have seen that popped in my dream. That would fall once there was a silly old ram thought he'd punch a hole in the dam. No one could make the ram scram. He kept butting that dam because he had high hopes. He had high hopes. He had high apple pie. Now that's us leaving. All right. So anytime you're feeling bad, instead of feeling sad, just remember that the ram, oops, there goes a billion kilowatt dam. So we had to look it up. All these dams are on the West Coast. This is what really started perking us up that we knew what the loud event was going to be. Now stick with me. This is what the God, God was showing us. There goes a billion watt dam. All problems, just a toy balloon. There's the balloon that he gave me that burst. They'll be bursted soon. There it is. They're just bound to pop. Oops, there goes another problem. Oops, there goes another problem. Kabloop. Oops, there goes another problem. We think the kabloop is when all this stuff happens. That's also another problem after this, which is nuclear. And the balloon's going to pop. <clears throat> Slug is considering ways to be wise. Let's see, did I miss something? See, sluggish wise has no commander, no overseer or ruler, yet it stores in provisions in summer and gathers its food in the harvest. This is describing ants. Uh, see, summer and gathers the food at harvest. How long will you lie there, you sluggish, you, slug, you sluggard? Then he led us to 77, 16, 19. The water saw you, O God, the water saw you. They were afraid. The depths also terrible. The clouds poured out water. The sky sent out a sound. Your arrows also flashed about. The voice of your thunder was in the whirlwind. The lightning lit up the world. The earth trembled and shook. This is the event that he's leading us to. This is the loud event. The earth trembled and shook. Your way was the sea, your path in the great waters, and your footsteps were not known. So what it was leading us to, make sure I've got everything here, I didn't want to miss anything, is the rapture is the loud event. And we didn't really think of the rapture in a way that was so devastating, but from what we're understanding, 
when the rapture happens, the West Coast all the way down to the uh, Ring of Fire will be ruptured. All the dams on the East Coast that's over a billion watts will be destroyed. It's going to be the scariest thing people's going to see, but this is this is the rapture event. A uh, huge cloud. Now, this is something we've all talked about. We've all seen this great big storm that comes. Now, this is not, uh, how do I say it? I don't want to get this wrong. This is not saying that this is, we're, we're putting this in as a, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. But literally, this is literally, okay, it's not making this up. It's literally how this is going to happen that this storm is going to cover the whole United States and the world. Lightning, thunder, like you've never seen. Then that's, This makes sense. that We've all seen this. Many of us, many, many, many people, all the way down to children, have seen this storm during the rapture. We've all seen it. So, it's going to cover the whole world, this storm. It's going to shake the earth, and it's going to set off the super volcanoes, all that stuff. It's going to set it all off. This is the loud event that is coming. The world will be in total fear. They won't even know what's happening. But we disappear during that time. That's when the rapture happens. It's during this event that will shake the earth. There will be no place to hide from it. No place to run. Most of the west coast, places like that, the Pacific, will be destroyed. It will break America down the middle. Literally. This is why America does not play a role in Revelation. Most of this place down toward from the Pacific Plate will be ruptured on this side of the continent. It will leave the world in devastation. And this is the loud event that they won't notice that we're gone. Because they won't be looking. They are terrified. People are running for their lives. They will not stop to pay attention to the, the, the raptures happen. But this is where we disappear. This goes on at this time, and then after we're gone, it quits. And then they'll go back to doing what they're doing, trying to put the pieces back together. And that's when World War III happens. Some people take advantage of all this that happens to make a move on their enemies, including our enemies against us. And they'll succeed, and it'll be a limited strike at that time. But this is what the Lord has led us to, that the rapture will cause a major seismic event when it comes. And like I said, they've shown us about the dams. The dams will burst on the west coast, the ones that go down the Pacific. How do we get that? He was talking about these rubber plants. That's where he was leading us to. The rubber plants come out of Brazil. They're still down there. If you follow the ring of fire, it goes all the way down into Brazil. And all this way is going to rupture severely. So South America will have quite a bit of damage themselves. And this is what he was leading us to. Now why he revealed it to now is because we're very close to it. With what's happening with Israel. Erdogan there at Turkey has already threatened to invade Israel in the upcoming days to a month. That is Turkey. That's a NATO ally. That is also Gog and Magog. Russia's already said they will intervene along with Turkey during this. Israel told Turkey tonight that they will kill him and they'll destroy Turkey if he decides to make this move. So it's all there. This is last day stuff. While the world is not paying attention and everything, the rapture will happen in this great, huge earthquake. When he screams down like an archangel, the, the ground, I've told you. When I saw the rapture, the ground did stuff it didn't, it don't normally do, and it does it everywhere. So it's going to cause a global earthquake like you've never seen. Most of the world will think they're all dying, and it's the end of the world, but it's, it's the rapture itself. We're gone during this event. They won't even notice that we was gone because of the loud event. That is it. We didn't realize that the loud event is the rapture, but it is. That is what, that's the event that nobody will see because of the earthquakes and everything that happens with it. They will be looking at the event and not us disappearing. So this is how it's going to unfold. And the Lord's confirmed it and he brought this to our attention. 
and he's been doing that for days. And we didn't, we wanted to get everything together before we brought it to you guys because of that. Now, I mean, he's going to fight us on it, but like I said, don't listen to me, listen to Jesus. Go to Jesus about it. But this is where he's led us. And I feel good about it because I know he's done everything he can to ring us in about this event. He's led us to the 911 event, which evidently we either we see it right before this, but it's not as it's not the allowed event that we thought it was, that was going to take us out. It's not. It the rapture causes the loud event, and we should have known that. But we was looking at everything man made, and it's not going to be man made the event that causes it. All right. Now we've got all that. Something else I want to bring up to you that we worked on today. Somewhere else God led us to. It says, For the wrath of God is received from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men, who suppress the truth and unrighteousness, because what may be known of God is manifest in them, for God has shown it to them. For since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal uh, power and bottom line is God was reassuring us that we have high hopes, Yeshua, Jesus. And while this is happening, he will sound the trumpet and catch us all up in a whirlwind, just like Elijah. Now, the other day I got Elijah. Now, during the rapture event itself, the whirlwind's going to catch us up this great big storm. And Jesus told me years ago, I come in the storm and I am the storm. So this storm is, he's confirmed it over and over, this thing that causes all this is when we leave so when you see the ground move and this, this great big storm come understand the rapture event is taking place that's what he wants us to know at the same time all these things will happen just like he warned us so like i said he just told me elijah the other day which was reminding me that this is about to end and it makes sense got that days before this stuff came about so let's get into this there's a lot to go over We've been talking to you about EMP weapons. Now it's fun. we find out late tonight that Hezbollah, Lisa Boyce did a great job of this, Watchwoman 65, is that they have a nuclear device that can cause a EMP. It was given to them by Iran themselves. So Iran has given Hezbollah an EMP, but the thing is, Israel has them too. Now, they're both threatening to use these weapons against each other. People, we just can't be here much longer. Normal is about to run out, so we've got to be gone. So God gives me Elijah the other day. He's telling us now that this rapture event is the great loud event that he's warned us that's coming, and we will disappear during it. The rest of the world won't see it. They'll be looking at the disaster itself because they've never seen anything like this. They're going to all think that this is over at that time, but we're going to be gone. That's when everybody will disappear. All right, so the Lord's talking. We're listening. We're putting it all together. And like I said, go to God and confirm it. We're fine with that. God's confirmed it for us over and over. All right, let's see. 425 Regional Council of the Upper Galilee, Northern Israel, where all citizens stay near fortified places and no wander and gather. So they're putting everybody in bunkers in Israel, especially up north. Upper Galilee, Western Galilee, multiple uh, councils, residents must relocate the shelters immediately and stay there. Now, the bombing has already begun, and that's why the emergency action messages are off the charts. Lebanon makes it official. Elias, de Deputy Speaker of the Lebanese Parliament uh, to Al Jazeera, if civilian uh, casualties happen or Beirut and the suburbs are targeted, so they're, this is something Israel's never done. They've never targeted uh Beirut itself. We will consider this a measured and limited response. We will we this will we will not consider this as a measured or limited response. In other words, it's going to be all out war. With the following, any strike on Beirut and the suburbs will be met with a strike on the Gush Dam. And here's the most important word that goes with all this right here that we just talked about. They're threatening to destroy Jerusalem as itself, and we all know that can't happen. Ladies and gentlemen, we are at the cusp here. God's warned us. Now, most people aren't going to listen to it. They're not going to hear it. They're going to come up with some kind of excuse. But I'm telling you right now, the world's about to be judged at any moment. And we've warned you. 
Now, those that are saved, you're ready to go home. But those that are not saved, judgment is here. It's coming right here any moment, at any time. We don't know where it's at, but it's definitely here. We're at the door of it, especially when you hear Jerusalem. We're going to consider the Americas uh, equally uh, complicit as well. So that's why they're looking for enemy subs off the American coast. All right, Cov covert intel. The Israel government intends to launch a series of significant and broad strikes against Hezbollah targets throughout Lebanon, including the suburbs of Beirut, just like we just talked about, as well as the cities of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps in northern Lebanon and around Damascus. All prophecy. Members of the War Cabinet have authorized Prime Minister Netanyahu and Defense Minister Gallant to decide on the manner of the response against Hezbollah and the timing. Now, I can already tell you it's going to be a big response because they're putting all kinds of brigades up there against the border. This is all-out war is what you're going to see. Hezbollah threatens Israel, stating that if you hit Beirut and the southern suburbs, we will hit Tel Aviv and other areas, including Jerusalem. Electronic warfare was has commenced part of the Lebanon experiencing failures in GPS re reception and internet networks, so Israel's knocked down all their stuff, along with disruption in phone calls. Hezbollah has reportedly told both the U.S. President Joe Biden's advisor on Lebanon and Israel, uh, as well as the senior officers of the United Nations intern force in Lebanon, that any kind of major Israel retaliation operation will result in a massive response from Hezbollah and other factions even if it leads to full-scale war. So this is what God was warning us about. Flash. Strikes that now are inside Israel's, uh, by Israel's Air Force against the town of Harfa, the several other communities in southwestern Lebanon on the border with Israel. So we've got all this happening right now as we speak, with all this taking place. And God's warned us and warned us that these events was coming. We're definitely there, people, but we, we've been gracious enough that God's warned us that the rapture isn't very soon. That tells me that there's no 2025 that ain't coming. If he's warned us now about all these events, that this the rapture is very soon. Israel confirms that with everything that we've been getting, that the rapture will be any moment and it will literally set the world on fire when it happens. You know, many brothers and watchmen around the world, I've heard them talk, and I think uh, many of them, about how bad the rapture would be once it happens. Uh, bre brother uh, Bob Barber's one of the best ones, I think. And I never really looked at it that way. You know, about how much damage the rapture causes. But I'm, it's safe to say now, God has confirmed what Brother Bob has always said, is that... The rapture is a catastrophic event upon the earth. And it's so catastrophic that people in the world will not see us disappear. They won't know what's happening. They'll just be outside screaming to the top of their lungs. They don't think it's over. They think the world's about to blow up. That's when the rapture happens. It's going to be not pleasant for them when it happens. A lot of damage. A lot of people will die. It will be like nothing this world has ever seen. And that's about what's about to take place at any moment now. So, if you're wondering why God has not reacted to the Paris thing, it's because he knows this is coming. And trust me, those Olympics will probably be interrupted by this thing. That's going to really cause a lot of damage to the whole world's infrastructure. It will also give the Antichrist a lot of power. Because he's going to come in... After this, after these people make their moves, after this event, a lot of governments will stutter. And when they do, their enemies will take advantage of the situation and attack. This is what God is leading us to. When they do this, this brings on World War III, which is, like I said, it will be limited. But it was enough that Satan will take advantage of the rapture. He will, very quickly, to get his guy the power that he needs. So right now, what you're seeing... This chess game that's happening right now with Iran and uh, Israel. Uh, somebody, I think it was, uh, it was, it was uh, Brother Keegan. We love Keegan. And uh, he sent a, he had a thing as a thumbnail. Let me see if I can find it. It was, it was perfect. 
it's perfect of what's happening right now. Okay, this thumbnail shows a, uh, a chess piece between Israel and Iran. And in the middle of it, and thank you, Keegan, for posting that, the Middle East and planet Earth are moving into position for all the for the arrival of the Antichrist. And that's what you're seeing. We've stressed that many times, but most people don't believe it. But what you're seeing right now is the Antichrist coming into power. What's happening in Israel right now and all these enemies on their border, this is what this sets up. Is him. That's why I told you we're leaving. The rapture is coming right now, anytime. We leave, this disaster is going to happen, and they're not going to even know we was gone. But I'll promise you this as I'm sitting here. When this worldwide disaster happens, those that are left behind know that it was the rapture. You'll know it now. You can make fun of me now, call me names, whatever you want to do. But I promise you, when this worldwide event happens and it's on its way, when all this catastrophe happens, know if you are left behind, it was the rapture. And you won't see us again. Guaranteed. The Lord's been kind enough to give us all these updates and show us where we are on his time clock. Because he don't want to see anybody left behind. That's why we're doing this. So if you're lost out there tonight... This catastrophic event is on its way. Anybody's telling you there's a great revival and all this stuff junk, that's all lies. All of it. That is not coming. What is coming is judgment upon the world, not just the United States, the whole world. We will be leaving soon. People can, you can call me every name in the book, hate me, I don't care. But it is coming. We are leaving this earth any time now. God is confirming that over and over and over. If you're lost, call up on him before it's too late. Trust the gospel. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Jesus died on the cross for our sins, past, present, future. He died, was buried, rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. Hold on to Jesus with both arms. Do not let go. Keep your eyes on him. Do not be distracted. Don't listen to us. Don't listen to nobody else. You go to Jesus about these things. He's going to tell you the same thing. So go to him. We're not scared for you to ask because he's the one showing us and many millions others that what is coming upon this earth. And we're trying to get it out to you because we don't want to see you left behind. This is not entertainment. We're not here. I don't care if you like it, hate it, whatever, but this is what's coming. How do I know that? Because the Bible tells me so. Israel is getting ready for World War III. This is Jacob's trouble. Everything you're seeing right now is scripture. We warned you and warned you and screaming while the world's telling you, you got plenty of time. This person's coming back to save America, and it's all lies. It ain't coming. What is coming is the destruction of this planet, the beginning of it. Judgment is coming up on America any day now and the world. Always make sure that you keep yourself straight with Jesus. I mean, literally just keep your eyes on him. And don't take your eyes off. Because right now, the world's literally choosing sides. Against Israel, those that are uh, for Israel, but you're seeing a separation of wheat and the tares. That's what you're seeing, people. And we're seeing it with our own eyes. People that we thought was of God, mm -hmm. their true selves are showing in these last days. And they're going to be left here. So be careful what side you choose. Keep your eyes on Jesus and Jesus alone. Now the ones that are saved, the ones that keep doing some of these things about going against the Jews, they're gonna be they're gonna be raptured, but they're gonna get a good chewing on the Bema seat. And a lot of people don't take the Bema seat very seriously, but they will very soon. Because you're a lot of people it's gonna <laughs> it's gonna wake them up on that Bema seat. But at least you'll be in heaven. Now, if you're not saved and you're trying to hold out to the last minute, I would advise not to. They didn't believe Noah either when he got on that boat. And I'm not saying I'm Noah, but there's many Noahs out there telling you the same thing. You better get on that boat. God's not playing around this time. The world thinks he's joking. He's not joking this time. He's warned the population. Next thing is the rapture. And he will destroy, start to destroy the earth piece by piece. That is what's coming. It's good to be almost out of here. I know that. 
we don't see this evil much longer, and that's what's great about it. But we do, you know, and we just pray for those that are left because it's going to be a horrible time here. Don't be one of those left. Get on that boat before it's too late. This is not joking around. We're not playing. Judgment is coming. It's any day now. It's on its way. He's warned us and warned us. So when you see this event take place and it start, you know that the rapture is taking place. I love each and every one of you. If I don't see or hear from you again, I'll see you in heaven. Thank you once again for tuning in to Global Rapture Watchers, where we do daily updates here on YouTube, letting you know that we're one day closer to our Lord and Savior coming back. Thank you for all the support for this channel. This channel was created for God's sheep, those that are waiting for their Lord and Savior to come back and get us in these last days. We do updates once to two times a day here on YouTube. Thank you for all your support for the channel. God bless each and every one of you.